we all consume and experience content. From books and film, to social media and new AI technologies, as well as everything in between. Over 30 years ago, we designed a system that largely kept us safe from TVs, movies, books and radio. But it isn't up to the task for the high volume and high speed content environment of today. We need new regulations for online and media platforms to ensure the safety of individuals when they consume content while also promoting our rights, like freedom of expression and of the press. And we want to hear from you. We are proposing a new regulatory system as part of our Safer Online Services and Media Platforms program. With this system, we will place requirements on platforms to keep consumers safe, empowering consumers with the tools and information they need to stay safe. It means we can better manage the risks of harmful content, especially when they might affect tamariki and at-risk communities. A new independent regulator would be created to oversee the new system. This would ensure platforms prioritise consumer safety, while also providing funding for education and awareness initiatives. The regulator would work with industry to achieve better safety outcomes for consumers, creators, and publishers by ensuring platforms over a certain size or risk profile comply with codes of practice. Codes of practice developed with platforms and communities will inform how platforms manage harmful content. They would set expectations for platforms to manage material that is or could be harmful and reduce its distribution, empower consumers with tools so they can make informed choices to stay on platforms, and have an accessible, transparent consumer complaint process. The regulator would have takedown powers for illegal content. This means it could require platforms to manage the most extreme types of harmful content on their services. We are not suggesting a change to the definition of illegal material. We already have laws that deal with illegal material and these would carry over into the new framework. The new system wouldn't take away fundamental rights like freedom of expression and freedom of the press. Finally, the regulator wouldn't have powers over editorial decision-making or individual pieces of legal content. So, what do you think? Visit the DIA website for more information and to submit your feedback. Mm -hmm.